Hey RIP5 Scholars, it's Mr. Sapia here. I am going to be creating a few online videos using a Screencast-O-Matic to show you guys how to use Google Slides. And part of the purpose of me doing this is so that you can use your time wisely because if some of you finish with your research and you're ready to start your slides, you can use these videos to help you. You can watch them and then you can move along. So what I want to start off with is if you look at your stream right here in Google Classroom, you'll see that it says Google Slide Nonfiction Ebook Template. So what I would like for you to do is I would like when the time comes that you start working on this, I want you to click on it, of course. And this template here is already set up for you and what I'm going to show you today is kind of how to change a couple of things how you can double click and add your name and your title and then I'm going to show you how to add a picture so for example we have where it says title goes here and picture so using what I know about my report I am going to type in the incredible story of Ivan the gorilla so what I did is I double clicked and it, it allowed it brought up a text box here as you can see this blue outline that's called the text box and it allowed me to type the title of my report now the next piece that I want to do is down here same thing where it says name of student you double click and it'll bring up the text box and I'm going to type in Mr. Jimmy Sapia. Now part of the expectation of this was to also add a picture. So there's a couple of ways that you can do that. One way is you could come up here, there's a shortcut, and if you hover over any icon, it'll show uh, what the icon represents. So this is image. So I'm going to click image, and now we're brought up to a couple of different options. Basically, the two that you guys can use is either upload or you can use search. So I'm going to use search first. And because I am doing a report on, of course, Ivan, I'm going to do a quick search here. And I'm going to say Ivan the gorilla. And what it's going to do, it's going to bring up a couple of images. So I know that this is a picture of Ivan. So I'm going to click this little box and it highlights it and then I'm going to hit select and the picture here is automatically going to go onto my slide now of course you'll notice that the picture is way too big and if you notice around the perimeter of the picture you'll see that there is little blue squares those are used to resize so I want to make it smaller here and then I want to kind of move it around a little bit really you can put this picture wherever you want so I'm gonna keep mine right here for right now and then I click off of it if I want to move it what I would do is I would just click the picture okay and I could just move it this way if I want to put it over here maybe resize it a little bit alright that's one way to put a picture the other way is if you click image again or excuse me if you go do a quick Google search so you go to uh, google.com. I'm going to type in Ivan the gorilla. And then I'm going to click images. It's going to bring up many, many, many images of Ivan the gorilla. So let's say I wanted to use this image right here. This one says, he's holding a sign that says, I love Atlanta. So I'm going to right click that and I'm going to save image as. And what I want to do is I want to save this image to the desktop. So I'm going to click desktop and then I'm just going to rename this Ivan. Of course you can save to Google Drive too but I'll show you that at a later time. And I'm going to hit save. And since we're using Chrome in the bottom left hand corner it's going to, that's where it's going to save the image. So we would go back to our template. Now we would click image, upload, and then we can drag this right in, see how it turns color, and it's going to upload it, and then it's going to go right into your slide presentation. And again, you can resize it 
any way that you see fit. So those are just a couple of examples on you double clicking to change the titles and a couple examples of adding pictures. I'll be creating more tutorial videos that hopefully you guys will find helpful to make using Google Slides easier. Thank you.